Hello, hello friends. This is Becky with Becky Budgets. Just wanted to go ahead and come on here as we're starting a new month this month <laughs> or this week. And I wanted to go ahead and do our first week of March um, budget. So today I'm going to go ahead and budget for the March 1st paycheck. The info that we are expecting this week is um, my paycheck. My hubby's paycheck. And then the money my dad gives us to help us with rent. <clears throat> So I'm expecting my paycheck to be $4,100. I'm expecting my husband's to be $650. Now they did update his new position into the system, but I don't know if it's gonna take effect this paycheck or the next paycheck. So we are gonna be getting a different average uh, within the next couple weeks. And then we get $500 for my dad. When we add those three values together, we end up with a total inflow of $5,250. Moving on to the bills for this week. It is a bill heavy week. So we do have rent, which is due on the first. We have the upstart loans, which I lump together, and that's due on the second. Oh, the dogs are playing. Come on, guys. Quiet, bye -byes. It's quiet times. Thank you. We're paying for our car insurance through Allstate, which is also due on the second. Now, I was going to ask you guys, I don't want to lose sight of what we were paying our other credit cards now that it's rolling over into Snowball. So I don't know if I should put it in under fixed expenses as Snowball or if I should put it in as extra debt under Snowball and have it a set amount. Because I'm not sure, I'm just going to go ahead and put Snowball here, um, which are the uh, Barclay payments. And I'll put bar on there so that I know. And um, that is due on the third, or was due on the third, but both of those cards have been paid off. Then we have the Southwest. And that's due on the eighth along with Excel, which is our gas and energy bill. Excuse me, guys. I know that you love each other, but stop arguing. Come here. Come sit on Mama's lap. Come on. Thank you, Leo. They, oh, I totally hit the camera stand. I'm so sorry about that. They love to make noise once Mama starts filming. Um, so I picked Leo up. Rent is set for $2,500. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Oh my goodness, Linus. Get out. Both of you, get out. I'm trying to film. Anyways, so Upstart comes in as $1,652. Allstate is $166. Snowball was supposed to get 90 and then 80, so I'm going to go ahead and put 170 towards that. And then Southwest is 163, and Excel we've got to 250. When I add those values together, That gives us a total of $4,901.
And when we take that away from our inflow, it leaves us with $349. Now the first week of the month, we've got a lot of stuff to kind of pay for. So, before I fill out the variable expenses, let's go ahead and jump into our savings because this is the week that I pay for my 52 week number one, which is the whole month of March and then I pay, my husband pays his 52 week number two, which is a set amount, and then we'll have a buffer. So I'm gonna pay 106 towards our Christmas fund. My husband is gonna pay 26.50 this week towards our moving fund, and then we put a 50 cent buffer to make that all $27. 106 plus 27 is going to give us a total of 133. So we're going to need 133 for extra savings this month. Our sinking funds, this is the first week that we're doing the adjusted amounts. So medical is set to get 50, vet, household, car maintenance, and gifts will get $5, $15 each. Vacation, Microsoft Renewal, Car Registration, and the Emergency Fund will get $5 each. So that's going to bring everything up pretty significantly. So we've got 50 plus 15. Then we've got plus 20, which means that our sinking funds went from being an even, um, I put that in the wrong spot went from being an even 100 to 130. Okay, now let's go back to here. So if we had 349 left, we take away our extra savings minus the 130, minus the 130 going into our sinking funds and that's gonna leave us $86. We currently have $100 in food and we have $100 in gas that comes in from this last month. So we can hold off on those. And the next one I wanna fill is our miscellaneous fund. And then just so that we can knock out just a little more, I'm gonna put 25 towards eating out. So we're gonna plan on skipping food, gas, pets, hubby, and me. And then we're gonna put $75 towards our variable expenses. So 349 minus the 75 is gonna leave us with 274. Pulling the 274 over and taking the 130 away from there, we are left with 144. which means that when we take the 133 away from there, we are left with $11 that are going into the snowball. And that will leave a leftover of 133, which will in fact get us that zero base budget. As always, my friends, I love to check my math. So we've got an inflow total of 5250 minus the 4901 going towards bills minus the 75 going towards our variable expenses the 130 going towards our sinking funds the 11 going towards the snowball and then the 133 going towards our extra debt and yes my friends that gets us to a zero base budget <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my content if you have a moment, please let me know, how do I track this snowball? Should I put it as a set amount down here under extra debt or to not lose sight of it, should I still put it under my fixed expenses? There's a little conundrum there. I'm not sure how to go about that. <laughs> well, friends, I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead and I will be back on Wednesday with our spending update. Take care, <laughs> bye.